Good day. Uh, it's Coyd here. We are, for the very first time, running a dungeon with my squad. Uh, this is the first time I've been fooling around with uh, squads playing as a DPS character with them picking up the rest of the slack. So this should be quite interesting. Um, obviously, uh, I'm a Sprout. I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV for the last five weeks almost. I've got three jobs into the medium 50s. I uh, got myself a botanist up to 50 and a carpenter uh, who was almost 50. Um, got some retainers that are working very hard and uh, now I've got my squad up to the point where I felt confident to take them into a dungeon. So the first thing I noticed with, uh, with the squads is that the healer tank combo seems to be very strong. Um, uh, this tank doesn't take a whole lot of damage and he picks up aggro quite well which means if you are trying to level a DPS character without having to put up with long queues, it may not be a bad way to do it. Now, I have seen this recommended by quite a few uh, people that have been playing the game for an extended period of time, uh, being several years, but I thought it might be a bit different to see it from a Sprout's perspective, first time into a, a reasonable dungeon, um, to see how I would be able to handle something like this as opposed to someone that knows the game and the dungeons pretty much inside out. So I don't know the stone vigil very well um, and I'm exploring as I go. One thing I did notice is this does give me the opportunity to explore the dungeon from top to bottom. Uh, rather than being dragged through at breakneck speed. Generally, I'm on my Paladin or my White Mage. Um, and of course, being a relatively new player, when I'm on my White Mage, I'm very much so concentrating on the healing and keeping myself out of trouble. Uh, I'm not doing much in the way of sightseeing. And when I'm on my Paladin, uh, once again, I'm concentrating on picking up the aggro uh, keeping up a reasonable pace so as not to annoy players who have been at it for quite some time and uh, paying attention to the mechanics in the boss fights so that uh, we can all complete with a minimum of fuss and effort. So very different going in with the squad. Pretty much take your time, clear your mobs out as slowly as you like. I call it dungeon crawling. Uh, that's a habit I've got from other games. Uh, no, not not the big one. Never played that. We all know the one I'm talking about. Uh, but I have played other MMOs for extended periods of time. And uh, do enjoy a good dungeon crawl, going through and getting to know the layout, getting to know the, the, the bosses, getting to know all of the trash, getting to know where the loot is. Uh, what good loot there is. Um, just on the subject of loot, uh, I'd like to say it may seem expensive to other Sprouts uh, who are going in with their squad. It, it's not cheap in the way of your, uh, your serpent tokens, me being a twin adder, a fiction adder at this point. Um, but when you're picking up every chest yourself, getting every named item out of it. At the end of the dungeon, your um, expert deliveries with your grand company pretty much recoup any expense you may have uh, burnt down in the uh, Serpent Seals. So it's a win-win situation. And of course, your grand company is leveling at the same time. So you'll be able to take them into further dungeons, um, higher level stuff. The Stone Vigil was the highest level one I could take my, uh, my goon squad into. And as you can see, they're not having much trouble at all. So uh, 
I'll go easy on the commentary until we get to the boss fight, and I'll have a little bit to say there, so enjoy the show. This is someone who doesn't know the dungeon, that is unfamiliar with the mechanics of controlling a squad, and uh, not doing too badly. Oh, you must excuse my poor, uh, excuse my poor use of the, the samurai. Um, it's my first DPS character in the game. I'm still getting used to uh, how it works, how to extract uh, good DPS out of the character. And the few things I have learned to do uh, weren't available to me when the samurai was uh, cut back to this level. So. It may look like uh, errant noobery, uh, but uh, once again, a very new player. And I have been specialising in the Paladin and the White Mage, so it's another uh, good thing about the squads, is you can take uh, a class you're unfamiliar with into the dungeon and get to know it a little bit better, get to know whether it's squishy, um, uh, without embarrassing yourself too much, without causing grief to groups. I, I do understand that the Final Fantasy community is extremely forgiving. Um, I have noticed that, that that's a truism. It's, it's not uh, something that's just spruced and then not adhered to. But again, you know, you, you like to do a, a reasonable job and, and be an asset to a party, so it doesn't hurt to, to learn your class outside of the groups. Okay, so here we go with our first boss fight. I must say I was very impressed with the uh, AI of the tank and the healer. Uh, I'm not sure how much DPS uh, my uh, ranged caster was doing, but I figure it must have been decent because the fights didn't take too long. In fact, I would say the worst performing character in this show uh, was Little Koi. So as you can see, it's going quite smoothly. Um, that tank's pulling aggro quite well. Uh, getting used to the engage and disengage mechanic is, is something that uh, I was having a bit of fun with. And you can see there, I've, I've attracted his attention, so I'm kind of desperately starting to drop potions and what have you. Very inexperienced merely. It, it's very different to being on a tank or a healer. Losing a lot of health can be a, a problem on a DPS character. I actually think they might be more complex to play from what I've seen. Um, so once again, a good thing to, to learn how to use the character outside of um, a party that might want to get things done and, and is depending on real DPS.
the other thing you may have noticed, you see my little uh, moniker there from my Twitch stream. You can stop and take little breaks when you're running with your squad. So that's another good thing. Um, stop for something to drink, uh, whatever other breaks you may need uh, without holding a party up. So again, very attractive option for me. Now you may notice that quite obviously I've laid this uh, vocal track down separate uh, to when I was actually running the dungeon. Um, there's a good reason for that. Things go a little bit pear-shaped uh, in the not too distant future. And uh, being an Australian and uh, <laughs> being a little bit critical of my own performance, uh, the, the language got quite ripe and I didn't think it was appropriate to leave the uh, soundtrack uh, in place and put that up on YouTube. Uh, I think the modern term for it is NSFW, it definitely was not safe for the workplace. So I've replaced that, uh, that soundtrack with this over the top. Another thing you may notice is um, I don't have a lot of key binds in place for running this class at this point. So I'm doing quite a bit of clicking. Um, that won't continue, obviously. Um, on my Pally and White Mage, I've got just about everything bound and uh, so I can get to it quickly without having to uh, have tool tips come up all over the screen. So once again, you'll have to forgive that. But hey, you've got to admit, the squad's performing well. These guys are, are pretty damn good. That tank especially impressed me no end. He, he really can soak up an awful lot of damage. Um, yeah, he's quality stuff. And the healer's no slouch either. Uh, at no point did it look like we were going to fail. Um, which wasn't the case the first time I went into this dungeon with my white mage uh, in a group. Definitely not as not as professional a performance as this bloke was putting in. So yeah, a bit of a champ. Now here comes when you get into trouble, pull aggro. So what I've got to say about that is, um, more so than when you're running with a real player, you really have to let the tank establish aggro uh, in a big way with any mob. And that can be a problem with ads, uh, bringing the ads to the tank. They don't just automatically pick it up. So you kind of, you really have to segment it a little bit and really keep out of aggro range until that tank's got it. This is where things did go a bit pear-shaped and I got a bit, uh, stroppy with myself more so than the crew um, but I did learn eventually that I really needed to break the fights up a bit and give that tank a really good go at uh, getting aggro before I went anywhere near the fight otherwise I'd pull it and pretty much die. I can honestly say that uh, I think I've run the Stone Vigil once before on MSQ uh, as the healer.
but after I did this run, um, I'd be quite confident in saying I actually know the dungeon relatively well now. So an excellent tool for, for learning the dungeon properly from Go To Woe. main jobs at the moment, I am about three quarters of the way through the Heaven's Ward uh, main story quest line. And I will say that the dungeons are a little bit fewer and far between, but the mechanics are definitely more memorable, uh, as is the story. And here once again it looks like I may have picked up a little bit of aggro and got some ads and you know it's going pear shaped straight away. So it was really the only problem I ran into um, uh, running the squad is you, you've really got to make sure that you've got a bit of awareness about the mobs. If there's a few extra around the corner and you run around the corner and pick up that aggro then you've got trouble. So I think I finally cleared out um, the mobs that were causing me trouble there and uh, oh, and we're clicking the wrong thing. So yeah, really the only mechanic that causes uh, seem to cause any real difficulty. It's just making sure that uh, your tank has the aggro and that you don't pick any of it up. But yeah, pleasantly surprised by the quality of the AI. It, it, these guys are pretty good. soaking up damage like a champ. I mean, that's some quality tank work right there. Okay, so coming up on the second boss. Now people who are familiar with how this fight works, um, and it wouldn't be hard to be more familiar than I am. Have usually seen tanks take this fella to a different position, probably a better position than where we've got him. That's something I still have to play with. Um, I believe a combination of disengage and then re-engage when we've got him pulled to the correct spot will, will give us good tanking. But I was in a spot where I could do DPS and still see the, uh, the ad when he came to have a go at him with the cannons. So it worked, it was okay, no complaints.
I was a little slow to notice the cues, but just in the nick of time, we took the boss down before I had to use the cannon again. And as I mentioned before, of course, everything I pulled out of this dungeon, I took straight to uh, expert provisioning with the Grand Company and pretty much recouped uh, all of the seals that I spent doing the command missions. So, so it worked out really well and got a reasonable amount of XP out of it as well, considering uh, my samurai is at level 56, 55 or 56. And this is a level 40 odd dungeon. As my boys uh, level up a bit more, I'll be taking them in the higher level dungeons and uh, at the same time, I, I think I'll gain a little more competency with the samurai class and be able to jump into duty roulettes as a DPS when the queues are, are hopping, you know, peak play time, so I'd notice the queues even on a DPS go quite quickly. And that's uh, one thing I have noticed with the game is uh, you really are not left hanging. Oh, here we go. You know what's going to happen here, don't you? Or if I learnt my lesson. No, we're looking good. We're looking good. We might be able to get to the third boss fight without having to die again. Which would be nice, eh? Hey? I would not call this dungeon my finest hour, that's for sure. And it certainly wasn't the fault of the squad, or as I call them, the goon squad. Uh, they did a great job. You can see what's going to happen here. Yep. I had a spawn behind me and picked up aggro at that spawn and... Oh, look at it. Oh, jeez, I was upset. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Take a break, Coit. Have a drink. Straight back on that horse, mate. Get straight back on the horse. Well and truly not safe for work language um, being bandied around right about then. Use your map, Coit. Use your map if you don't know where you're going. It's like a bloke lost in a car, isn't it? He's not going to look at the, uh, yeah, yeah, you're going backwards. He's definitely not going to look at the map.
here. Now, it can be hard, as you saw there, I was trying to uh, get that fellow to disengage. It can be hard once he's fixated on someone to pull him off and uh, reattach him to somebody else. Um, but that's, I think, an operator error, uh, as in I'm just not that good at it yet. Uh, I did take the squad into one other dungeon um, and didn't have any trouble, so this was the second time I used them, and uh, this is a much higher level dungeon, so I think it was uh, the Long Stomp, Long Stop, uh, Brave Flox's Long Stop, and my God, they cheesed it. It was, uh, it was just an absolute walkover. But there's uh, slightly more complicated spawn patterns here uh, from the enemy, and that's where I was running into trouble. But uh, if you get your tank to focus on the right enemy, um, yeah, flawless. So again, operator error, um, not the AI, not bad programming. Um, I think this is an extremely workable mechanic that they have with the squads. There's quite a few excellent videos on how to level your squad, how to get them to run through their uh, normal missions um, quite well. In fact, there's websites devoted to it. Um, all in all, the resources available to the new player for Final Fantasy XIV seem to be outstanding. The, the community has some real quality content creators. Uh, much better, much, much, several orders of magnitude better than anything I've created. Um, in fact, that's one of the reasons why I'm not streaming Final Fantasy nearly as much as I was at the start. Um, I've come to terms with the fact that the, the quality of the content from the older players that do stream, uh, and by older I mean more experienced in the game, um, is of such a high quality um, that really there's not much I could add to that at this point. I, I believe I'd have to be playing for quite some time um, before I could uh, put forward anything that was uh, going to actually add to uh, what's already out there. So third and final boss. Uh, the mechanics for this aren't too complicated. Um, it's really about avoiding AOE more than anything. Um, yeah, it didn't have any trouble at all here. So I suppose I'll stop rabbiting on and uh, let you enjoy the end fight. The takeaway from it is um, the AI is excellent. Even for a new player, it's not too hard to handle. Um, from a UI point of view, it, it seems to work. It's simple, but it's effective. Um, you can concentrate on your own performance uh, to a large degree, uh, but you must be mindful of uh, random aggro from mobs. Um, that's really the biggest takeaway I had from this dungeon. So I'll leave you in peace to enjoy the end fight. Uh, thanks to anyone that, that bothered to hang in 
and listen to me babbling on uh, all throughout this. Um, we'll see if we can get some more sort of focused commentary that doesn't drag on quite as much in future. Um, yeah, that's all I've got. You all have a good one. Uh, Coit out.